What is up, y'all? It's your boy Knowles back with another video, and today I'm bringing you guys a settings video that was requested by a couple of the subs in my stream the other night. Um, I did want to let you know this is not some sort of 2020 cents movement demon type video. If you're looking for that, this is not the video for you. These are just going to be the settings that I found that are good for movement without sacrificing your aim. Now, I will say everything always comes down to preference, kind of. You might tweak something here or there, but that's just all I wanted to say on that. Other than that, uh, I hope you guys like the video. Please do like, comment, and subscribe, and come stop in for a stream sometime. Uh, I'm live almost every single day, and, you know, we just like to chill out, have some fun, uh, try and get a good gameplay here and there. And, yeah, I hope you all enjoy the video. Let's get into it. So, getting into this, uh, obviously, I do play on controllers, so these are going to be controller ones. Um, I just want to start out with your button layout. I personally have buttons slash paddles on the back of my controller. If you do not, you are going to want to change your button layout at least to tactical. Maybe do some custom if it's up to you. Um, but this is going to make B your melee now and right stick, crouch, or slide. You're going to want to do that. It's going to help you slide cancel without, you know, you're going to be able to slide and look around at the same time. So... Just to give you that. The other thing is dead zone inputs. This really comes down to preference. I run 5.5. Five. Uh, if you have stick drift, you might have to up them. But 5 on the right stick makes it feel like it's it's reactive. But every time I go lower, it feels like the moment I touch my stick, my aim just flies away. And I don't like that. Um, right trigger, left trigger, both at zero. It's going to make it feel more re like your triggers are going to feel more reactive. So... Um, the other thing is going to be horizontal stick sensitivity and vertical sen stick sensitivity. I run 8.8 with a 0.8 sensitivity multiplier uh, on ADS. This feels like when I'm ADSing, it's just the right speed. It's not slow, but it's not fast in terms of how fast they're running. Uh, this feels just right in a spot where I'm going to be able to track them just beautifully. Um, if they're moving faster than that, they have something going on. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, the other thing is if you don't have sense, ah, not sensitivity, target aim assist on, turn it on. It doesn't matter what any mouse and keyboard players say that it's overpowered and whatnot. That doesn't matter. They can literally flick around and make it look like they're cheating in a matter of seconds because it's just a swipe of their wrist. I've seen shotgun. I've seen people on keyboard and mouse use a shotgun Flick, turn around, boom, 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 boom. Literally 180 degrees, okay? Ignore them. It doesn't matter. If you're on controller playing without aim assist, all you're doing is putting yourself at a massive disadvantage, especially since most players are controller players. So just don't even worry about it. Um, and then, obviously, I run default aim assist. A lot of people say black ops. Through a lot of testing, I found default to feel better better but it also comes down to personal preference it's just one of those things i mean i think default feels the strongest so take that with what you will and then along with the aim assist you're going to want to do the dynamic aim response curve type i have seen people mess with the aim response curve slope scale put it at 0 0.7 0 0.8 whatever i personally believe that it feels the best at one i also played warzone 2 so that's what I ran in that, obviously, and so that's where it just kind of feels the best, I think. I just think it's something that's not worth messing with. Um, and then we'll get into this. So, I run automatic tax sprint. If you run a shotgun, do not run automatic tax sprint because the moment you sh you're going to shoot one shot and then you're going to accidentally, like, you're going to move and you're going to accidentally still be pressing the stick forward, and all that's going to do is make it so that you can't shoot again. So, just something there. Slide maintain sprint. I've seen some people say don't use that. Me personally, I prefer it in terms of movement. Um, because basically once you stop sliding, it's going to instantly make you sprint. Some people say don't use it. I've had good luck with it. So it's kind of up to you. It's more of like if you want to do the, you know, slide, 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 breaking people's cameras back and forth, back and forth, and then shoot them. Um, that's what it's good for. Um, auto or tactical sprint behavior. I run single tap run. It's kind of a preference thing. I think in my opinion, anyways, grounded mantle, I will say 
I don't have a lot of room to speak on this. I have it on Phase Neo just dropped a movement video. Um, I, at least on TikTok. I think he did on YouTube too. Go give him a check out. He did an entire thing on Grounded Mantle and the mechanics that you can do with it. I'm still trying to learn those. So I would definitely go check out Phase Neo. He does really good with this, but I would leave it on. Automatic Airborne Mantle and Automatic Ground Mantle, mantle slash Hang. I leave off. I don't think there's any point in using them. Um, slide dive behavior. I run slide only. When I run uh, tap to slide, it feels extremely delayed and like my movement is absolute garbage. So I run slide only. There is the new hybrid. If you wanted to try that out, I haven't gotten a chance to try it. I'm kind of skeptical. I really don't feel the need to dive that often. Maybe sometimes in Vondel, but there's so many zips and everything, I've never had the, had an issue. And then plunging underwater. Make sure this is on free. Because if you ever end up in the water, and you end up on top, and you can't go back down, that's going to be an issue. So leave it on free. This just means when you go up, all you have to do is look down and plunge, and press forward, and you're going to plunge right in. So make sure that's on free it'll also if you ever are in the water and you actually pull out your weapon all you have to do is go up and straight back down and it'll pull your weapon back out parachute automatic behavior i have off this means instead of pulling my chute so i'm here right i'm flying in instead of pulling my chute here automatically i'm going to be able to come all the way down here pull it right here right before my feet are about to hit the ground and instantly i'll hit the ground like i'll pull the chute and hit the ground at the same time almost and that's going to allow you to be able to fall on people. Um, it Off spawn, if you're trying to beat somebody to a chest, you're going to be able to do that. You're going to get the gun, boom, turn around, pop, pop, pop. Okay. It's going to make life way easier. Sprinting door bash, obviously, is going to make life so much easier. You don't have to sit there and try and open the door to go through it. Um, other than that, these all I don't really mess with. The only one I really do are these two right here. So... I run tap to interact. A lot of you on here might know Sway. I play with him almost every day on live. I run tap to interact. Sway does tap to reload. If you watch both of us play, you'll see Sway has a lot more issues when it comes to zip lines and stuff like that. Run tap to interact. If not, at least prioritize interact. This is going to make life so much easier when it comes to zip lines, um, the redeployable balloons. And anytime you go to, like, if you're running away from somebody, right, in terms of movement, this is way better, too. So if you're running away from somebody or trying to make a play, you know, you can shut doors by just tapping the button while you're running by it. You don't have to try and hold it when it comes to zip lines. You don't have to press and hold. You can just tap it. All that good stuff. It's going to make life way easier. And then the only difference is, is you just have to press and hold to reload, which if you're in the middle of a gunfight, you probably ran out of ammo and that's why you're trying to reload. Otherwise, it's just remembering while you're running, just you have to press and hold. If you're doing prioritize and interact, though, all you have to do is press and hold or pre tap it whenever you're not in the middle of anything, as long as you're not looking down at something that you can pick up, basically. The other thing is apply or armor plate behavior. I do apply one. People say apply all. Every time I've run apply all, I get pushed by somebody. I have to press Y to cancel the plate or er, the plate animation, and I accidentally pull out my AR and die. So, I run apply one. That's just kind of a personal preference. If you do okay with it, then you do okay with it. The other thing is manual fire behavior. Run that as press, not as hold. People say run it as hold because it's faster when you're shooting burst weapons. As true as that might be, when you go to do the pistols at the beginning of a warzone game you're not going to be able to shoot as fast as the other guy and you're going to lose the fight plain and simple the only exception might be if you get a ranetti i personally get a ranetti like one out of ten games so winning one out of ten fights is not not worth it in my opinion just run it on press i promise you life's going to be easier the burst guns really shoot as fast as you press the trigger anyways it'll be okay i promise other than that, I don't think there's really anything else in here. The other thing is graphics. We're going to go to graphics. We're going to go to view. I'm, most of my followers are console players. I already know that because I've played with a bunch of you. So we're not going to worry about the graphics. If you guys want a whole other video for that, just leave it in the comments. I'll do that for you guys. But for now, we're just going to stick to what works for both console and PC players. So we're going to go to graphics and view.
this is going to be your field of view. People say you lose aim assist at 112. Me personally, I've never felt aim assist as broken as anybody says anyways. I run 119 so I can see more of my screen. Um, but I do feel like if you top it at 120, you don't get like any aim assist at all. So I run 119. It comes down to preference really though. Um, and then ADS field of view. Oops. You're going to want to run affected. This is going to help lessen the visual recoil, which is why you're upping the field of view also. Um, change it to affected. That means whenever you ADS, your field of view is going to stay. If I'm running 119 and I ADS, field of view is going to stay at 119. It's going to lessen the visual recoil immensely. Um, there's not much else to say about that. I mean, if you want more recoil, I guess, guess run it the other way as independent. I don't think that's a good idea though. Um, the other things are turn off world motion blur, weapon motion blur, and film green. All it's going to do is make your game look like crap. And if you get motion sickness, you're going to get motion sick. Just turn them off. You don't need your game. If you look on this right side right here, you don't need your game to look blurry like that as you're turning or your weapon to look blurry like this as you're turning. It's not letting me. There's no no need for that. And the film grain is only going to make, like, it looks clear right here. Over here, it looks pixelated. There's no need for that. The only other thing is put your first-person camera movement at least 50%. And inverted flashbang, you're still gonna not going to be able to see anything when you get flashbang, but it's not going to absolutely blind you. Okay, so one other thing that I wanted to touch on real quick for you guys. As I said, make sure that you are running aim assist. But a big part of that is understanding how aim assist works. So part of aim assist is a lot of people mistake it. They think just if, if I'm looking at you, it's just going to pull. Or if I'm looking at it and I hit fire, it's just going to hit because it's aim assist. And that's not how it works. So aim assist works where if I'm ADSing, this is what it looks like normally, right? But you notice as I get closer, it slows down. This is pressing my stick all the way to each side. And you see how it slows down and then speeds up. So the best way to do this is that's how people snap. Boom. I messed up on that one, but you see what I mean. Okay. The other big part, if you watch, that's not hard because this gun is just <laughs> insanely broken. But the big thing is making sure that you're strafing left to right. If you notice, I'm not missing any shots on those ones when I'm doing that. And that's because there's this thing called rotational aim assist. Now that part of aim assist is broken. And that's because it's giving me stronger aim assist as I'm doing, as I'm strafing side to side. So that is a big part of this game when it comes to playing on controller is going to be rotational aim assist and just making sure that you're moving side to side as you shoot even at longer ranges and that kind of helps eliminate any horizontal recoil that you might be having so it'll just make life a little bit easier for you the other thing i wanted to show you guys like i said keep where's it at come on what the heck manual fire behavior right here you want to leave this as press. This is what it looks like if you try to tap it while it's on hold. Every once in a while, you might get a good couple shots to come out fast. And this is what it looks like if you hold it. So, if you think that you're going to win a gunfight off spawn with a pistol, you're crazy. But if we put it on press, and this is without, like... I'll even show you guys. This has one attachment, and that's the mag uh, to make it a little bit easier to show you guys this. Now, this is going to be with it off on just press. Okay? So, just leave that off. Don't listen. If anybody tells you that, they're wanting you to play bad. I promise you. Okay? I see people say, put it on hold all the time. It's not worth it. Just leave it on press. You'll be winning a lot more gunfights off the spawn. So, do that with what you will. Um, 
now that we've gotten through all the settings, I did leave a gameplay at the end of this for you guys. If you want to check it out, make sure that you do. It was a pretty fun game. Drop 31 on Fortune's Keep using the Ram 7 HRM9. Uh, I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video, and I'm just going to leave you guys with that. So, y'all have a good day. Make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe, and pop in for a stream every once in a while. And I'll catch y'all later. One shot. Look at that. Yeah. Damn! What are you landing on my cluster, man? Mark on the rest of that squad on your map. The stream is not muted, bro. Nope, it's right here. What the? And hey, what the fuck is my first package? It's all done. Look at it. What in the? No, no. Oh, you're so cute, dude. thirsty. Yeah, dude, he's so thirsty. I downed this guy like an hour ago. What the f He's AFK as f What is it? Fuck the game. I don't blame him. Got bit. That's Got bit. Oh shit! Somebody over here by me. Of course, naturally, I just. There is no way I got gunned from that range by a WSP9. Oh no, there, there's definitely a way. That bitch strong as hell. Damn! Can I please use this kid right here? Is it another one? Who is shooting me? I can't see. Oh, here. Okay, yeah. It is another one. Right here, right here. I couldn't see him. No, bro, because they're been throwing. Oh, my God, yeah, he's literally just laying down. Yeah. Good kill. Marking the rest of that squad on your attack map. Get hunting. 25 remaining. His teammate's camping on top of a cluster. Getting looked at and shot at by two oh, different fucking teams. The map too. Move! Like, what type of yeah. is this? Dude, what the? F How does he just walk past one of you? Oh, that's three people! There's a guy to your right. I mean, uh, to your right, yeah. Over there. Team of three, team of three, team of three. Help. Yeah, here's the problem, bro. I can't see him. Oh, God. Down one. How much you know? I'm going that way. Uh, they're running. They're below. No, there's still one up there. Are you kidding me? I got you. Oh, he 
Please kill these fucks, bro. Sitting literally. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, on me. You're bad. God. Had to go eat? Yeah. Oh, he had to go eat. Ah! How the hell you 